Jake, you've done a piece on Leon Bailey just recently for The Athletic and really fascinating insight to his background. I mean, he was one of 23 children adopted by a guy called Craig Butler. Can you give us a little bit more of an insight onto that article and a little bit about Leon Bailey? I mean, he's been phenomenal mm-hmm. for Villa this season, six goals, five assists in 18 games. Um, he's been a bit of a slow burner. Seen him in Germany has been really exciting, but you got to know him a bit uh, more personally. Yeah, it's been a pretty remarkable story. I didn't quite realise the story behind it. It took a few months to, to really go into detail. It's, yeah, he's one of 23 children that were adopted by this man who's, you know, it was a, a very uh, rich and successful businessman, but he had ties in his local community. He was exposed to Leon Bailey um, to gangs and violence before that and uh, um, up until the age of eight. Um, he saw a lot of, you know, bad things. He was part of a tough neighbourhood. Um, and then, yeah, he got he got adopted by uh, by this man. Um, they He obviously had a lot of money, so he able to set up this football academy um but the, he realized that jamaican players weren't probably in um in the right having the right opportunity to progress into the next level if they want to be footballers so what he did um with leon and a couple of other of the best lads from the academy as they he just went brought a bag of balls brought a rucksack and they just drove all around europe going on 200 different trials um with, with various clubs you know including ajax and, and and you know clubs in slovenia slovakia things like that and eventually he um got signed up by gang i think about five years into the, this journey where they were just surviving on you know cans of tuna um and the rest is history is um you know so much detail that so many things he's had to overcome as well he you know he couldn't read or write until he was 14 and now he speaks five or six different languages so yeah i think having that type of adversity probably stood him stood him a good stead at villa because as you say it was a slow burner early on but now he's had that belief and he's he's you know, he, he's always had belief in himself, but I think a coach has given him belief. I think it was pretty obvious that Stephen Gerrard didn't have that, where Emery knows that he's very good. And they've been working on his consistency away from home as well. And, you know, now he's probably, right now, Villa's most threatening attacker. And he's, he's the man for big moments at the moment. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.